How you guys doing? What a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I always give glory to my Father, my Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, because he said if you don't acknowledge him, he's not going to acknowledge you. And when I come knocking, I want him to let me in. And I also want to acknowledge my wife, Julie, because I'm in a fight, and when I'm in this fight, she's in this fight with me. And I want to thank you, Ambassador Haley, for your great word. And she's a great example of the American Indian community, is she not? She's a great example of that. And I'm going to talk about leadership right now. Because we're on a unity tour. Because my opponent, Senator Raphael, one night, I remember hearing him say, America need to apologize for its whiteness. And I'm like, that's not in a Bible I ever read. Because if you really look at the situation, our founding fathers already apologized for his whiteness. Because if you read the Constitution, it talks about every man being treated fair. But what we've done, we put the wrong person at the table to do the negotiation for you. Because Reverend Warner had went to Washington and got rich. He went to Washington and forgot about the people that voted him in. So I'm here to let him know it is time for him to go. And for Herschel Walker to come and represent the great people of Georgia, because I'm going to be the voice for all the people of Georgia and not just with one set of people. Because all you are my family. I don't care what color you are, all you are my family. And I was taught to take care of my family. So that's what I'm going to do. Because as I decided to run, you can see I'm not a politician. I don't look like one. I'm not going to act like one because I am a warrior for God. And what I see going on is not right in this country. Inflation is going off the roof. Is it not? Inflation is, oh, wow. And they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about inflation. They don't want to talk about crime. They don't want to talk about this border because they have nothing to say. And they've done it. They're the reason we're in this problem we are today. And if you want that, vote for them again because you're going to get more of it because they got no solution. All they want to do is spend money. When they have a problem, they throw money at it. That ain't the way you solve a problem. You need to get in there and get your hands dirty. They don't want to do that. They're good at calling names and calling you out of your names, are they not? They're good at calling you all those names. I've been called all types of names that lately, but they don't know Herschel Walker, do they? <laughs> Name calling don't bother me. What bother me is the crime I see in Atlanta. What bother me is when families can't afford food. What bother me is when they had the kids had to go back to school and family couldn't buy school supplies because of putting someone like Reverend Warnock in that Senate seat. And for the things he's been saying, trying to separate my people. Let me tell you what, you're my family. You're not going to get separated. But I'm going to tell you something that you may not know. 23 and me has screwed us all up. So it don't matter about your color. What matters about the content of your character. And he's in a church that a man spoke that. And he's not doing it. So why in the world do you think he need to be in that seat? Right now. And I'm going to tell you something else. That is, I, I felt excited about this. I got excited because as I was getting on the bus, and we're on this unity bus, and we're trying to bring people together. Because a house divided cannot stand. I don't think he read that either. That's in the Bible. A house divided cannot stand. So I want us to come together because America is the greatest place in the world to be. And we got to come together. And I just got a tweet from someone who said, because the media has never been my friend. Can you believe that? They don't like Herschel Walker. And I'm talking about myself in third person, but I know that. But anyway, I just got a tweet that said he's going to debate me October the 14th in Savannah, Georgia. But I saw, I saw he still had one, one other things he wanted to put in it. So when we get that worked out, he's going to be there. So if y'all see him, you tell him to show up. Put his big man pants on and quit selling and standing behind his Twitter and behind the media saying I want to debate him. I've been saying I debate him, but I want the audience to be able to see it, to see the differences between he and I. I do believe in lower taxes. I don't believe men should be in women's sports. That's sort of like saying you want Herschel Walker to compete against your daughter. We don't want that. 
And then I can answer the question. A man can't get pregnant. We don't need to be asking that question. A man can't get pregnant. Y'all need to know that, and I'm going to tell you this up here. And I do know what a woman is. So we don't need to discuss that. What we need to be discuss, we need to get back to being energy independent again. What we need to discuss, we need to protect this border. It's okay to build a wall. A wall works. Other countries have walls, but their walls are to keep people in because people don't want to be there. So it's okay for us to have our wall. We got to have legal, legal immigration. And they like, like that's a problem, but they ran away from it. It seems like all they're doing is wrecking things and leaving it. It is time for them to fix something. That's the reason we need new people in leadership there. That's why I decided to run. I'm sick and tired of it. It is time for someone, as my father said, when I said no, I mean no. And that's what we got to do is get people in Washington. When you say no, you mean no. And also he said, if you don't like the rules underneath my roof, leave my home. Because we're a country that have law and order. We just had two police officers killed in Cobb County. Is anyone talking about it? And my opponent, we have called them names, bullies and thugs. I'm waiting for him to apologize to them. Recruitment is down. Y'all seen that morale is down. My opponent also said you can't serve the military and serve God at the same time. Do he not know the reason we're the greatest country in the world is we got the greatest military in the world. So we have to support our military. So maybe, maybe at the debate, I can tell him that. Yeah. If he decides to show up and quit running, but he don't know I can catch him. <laughs> because when I saw him on one commercial, he was running the wrong way. And I'm like, hey, can you run the right way? Because you run backwards, that's what's going to happen. You've been running this country backwards. It is time to run it the right way and do the right thing. I want to thank you guys. Thank you guys for getting out here to vote. And I want to say, people always ask me, what can I do? What can I do? You know what you can do? Call 10 of your friends to tell them to go out and vote and vote for Herschel Walker. And tell them to call 10 of their friends and to call their 10 and their 10. Because right now, I tell you what's so funny. They've spent almost $50 million against me already. Can you believe it? Oh my God. $50 million. And I told them, give me the money. I make myself look bad. They don't have to spend that money. But the race, the race is either tied or I'm still in the lead, or he may be the lead by one, which means the Georgia people are talking that they're ready for new leadership in Washington. They're ready for a change. And I want to say, Ambassador Haley said it, we're not a racist country. We're good people. And the way we become better people by working together. We have to come together. We can't let our president divide us. The speech he made a couple of weeks ago, that was very mean. That was a high, terrible speech. And I can't believe that anyone would even say that that was a powerful speech. That was a division. He divided people. But I want to tell you right now, America, the United States of America, is the greatest country in the world today and it's time that we get leaders in washington that know that so right now i want to declare something that i'm going to put in place and y'all get going to be a sound bite you're going to be big i think for people to run for office in this country today first got to love america they got to love america because some of the people i see running don't seem to like the country and then they got to love the Constitution of the United States of America because what I've seen, our police officers do an oath before they go to office. And if they don't hold true to that oath, they're held accountable. Our men and women in service take an oath. I will defend this country, foreign and domestic, with their life. And if they don't hold that truth, they will be held accountable. When you go to office, be elected to office, your oath is I would defend the Constitution. So why does everybody want to change it? They don't know better than our founding fathers. And it's time for them to look at what is written on that paper and hold this country true to it. Thank you, guys. God bless you, guys. Thank you. God bless you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard from Herschel. Now's your chance to meet Herschel. So Herschel's going to go talk to the media. While he does, he's going to do that. If y'all would form a line right over here, you see Carlton right here in the vest, form a line up on him, and you can start the photo line right there. We'll begin momentarily. Thank you all for coming out.